Claret TV speaking to Champ City assistant manager Mickey Splain after the Essex Senior Cup win at Billericay. A good game for the for the neutral, Mickey. How was that one for you? Yeah, I mean, obviously, coming into the game, the most important thing is that we got through. Um, we started the game really well. Um, first 20, 25 minutes, we were brilliant. Um, and then the second half, the first half, we were, we were poor. Um, they, they were finding gaps and, and getting through the lines quite easily. Um, we changed shape at, at half-time. We come out and it was a lot better. Got a goal and obviously they, they're, they're going to get more possession and go for it because it's a cup game and rival, the rivalry. So um, in the end, we're, we're happy we got through. And uh, a chance for some, some minutes for some players. Glenn McConnell was first start for the club. I think he's had an injury at Cambridge, so he's come here to get some games. And how, how do you think he did out there? Yeah, um, we, we played Glenn in, in a slightly different shape today. Um, and he'd he done well, he showed some nice touches. Um, we know he's a good player, obviously. Cambridge rate him really highly. He's coming back from an injury. Um, so hopefully hopefully we look after him and he gets some minutes with us. And he got the assist of the first goal for, for Jordan. He scored a couple. Osman got on the score sheet, so a lovely goal. So good to see the, the strikers getting in the goals again. Yeah, obviously that's the striker's job, um, to get goals. So it was nice to see Jordan be in the right place at the right time. And, and obviously Ozzy took his goal excellently. And we know he's got that in the locker. Um, so it's nice that it went in today. Yeah, and then I suppose sort of what sort of changed in that second half of the first half because we were sort of doing really well and then they sort of found a, a gear and conceded, conceded a goal from a corner, sort of third phase of it and then right at the end of the first half, didn't we? Yeah, I think both goals were quite similar in terms of um, coming from second phases of a set piece, which um, we need to get better at. Um, so yeah, obviously first half, as the first half, we, we were brilliant, finding pockets on the front foot, and it, and it looked like we'd kind of run out of energy, if I'm being totally honest. So um, then they started to get a bit of joy, get a bit of confidence, and we kind of went into our shell slightly. Um, so that obviously gave them their tail up, and they, they got their two goals, and going into half time, um, we, we changed shape, and I think that worked. Yeah, and then Sam Gale claiming that uh, winning goal there <laughs> would be his first of the club if, it, if he has. Yeah, um, he done really well to be fair. He, he done he done really well. He drove forward with a ball with purpose. Um, obviously he got a massive slice of luck with a goal, but um, you see how much he enjoyed it, and, and obviously we'll take it. So. Yeah, and then you know Kane Critchlow with a sort of odd front three there with Kane, Calvin, and Archie Templin. I think with the front three at the end there. So you know, we had to sort of no Jake Hyde, no Freddie Hockey off the bench to, to 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 change the strikers. So we had to sort of dig in there really in the in the second half of that second half. Yeah, and uh, Kane's just been away in a national duty. Um, he, he actually picks up a little bit of an illness as well on on his way back, so he's not 100% either. Um, so we had to go out there and do a job for us today. Um, but yeah. It was it was a different front three, but they're all, they're all more than more than capable, and they just needed to give us legs and energy that last 15 to see us through, and I, I think they did that. And they didn't really have a chance, but it's always no sort of latter stages when we, they've got a lot of possession. We can see the free kick on the edge of the box and things like that that you don't you want to avoid those situations at the end. Of. Yeah, at the end of the day, this this is a rivalry, and um, these are our rivals. Um, I know they're league below, but they're a good team. They've got good players, a lot of players that have played in our league. Um, so it was always going to be a difficult game. We was never going to turn up here and, and, and walk them over. Um, so yeah, that, like you say, the last 20 minutes, that they're going to put the pressure on, trying to kind of go for it. Their, their formation changed. They chucked a lot of people up front. Um, so we had to deal with deal with a lot of that. And in the main, we did. And we're in the quarterfinals now, so chance we not, got knocked out last year by the eventual winners, Redbridge. So shows that we we, we can sort of try and win this competition this year. Yeah, that we we go into this this competition wanting to win it. We don't um, we don't turn up thinking like it's a it's a distraction. We want we want to win it. Um, it's a good day out for the fans. I've been to a few finals with Chelmsford over the years, um, and it's a good occasion. So we'll we'll go into the quarter final wanting to win that and carry on to the final to win that also. And we've had a, so many away games in a row. It'd be nice to get back to Melbourne on Saturday for a, for a home game or a tough one against Slough. Yeah, I think. Um, um, they've had a real good result tonight as well away at Chippenham so again it would be um, it'd be a difficult game but we'll prepare for it and, and one that we're going to want to win. Okay well done Mickey on, on the win tonight and we'll uh, move through to the next round. Cheers mate.